Hello everyone, this is Kevin from SDM. I have a lot to talk about today, so let's jump right in. Uh, we're, I'm primarily looking at how do I uh, automate, how do I find and deal with group policy objects that contain a bunch of registry data. As we all know, a GPO can contain a lot of different things. Registry data is just one type of data in there. Um, but a lot of what we do in GP is going to be registry based. So this is going to prove to be pretty helpful. At SDM, we have a bunch of tools, one of which is a reporting pack that allows you to export all of the managed settings in your environment so that you can run reports, find duplicate settings, find conflicts, etc. So that reporting tool is about reporting. It gives you information that you can look at, reason over, and take action on. Um, it is not uh, the end-to-end -end solution, it's the reporting piece of it. So <clears throat> what we can do, uh, because we've provided some commandlets to automate a lot of those things, is we can actually take it to the next step. And we can take that reporting pack and build true automation on it. And that really is part of what we're here to talk about. So without further ado, there's a couple different things I want to point out. The first of which is a little tool that uh, has been around for a while that, um, excuse me, that Darren built years ago called the Policy Viewer or the Reg.Paul Reader. Um, regardless of what you want to call it, it's a very simple tool. It allows you to browse out, find your GPOs. Let's find, uh, let's see, SEIDC1, Sysval, uh, psycho.local policies. So I can find all of my GPOs. You know, here's one that I know has some registry data, and I can navigate to that registry poll file and then. I can essentially query it. And this is going to pull back all of the data in that registry.pull file and give you info on the registry key, the value, the type. Super helpful. You can dump that out to a CSV. That's something that you might be able to work with um, in your automation. But I just wanted to point that out. Neat little tool. There's a link on the blog post on where to get that if you're interested. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is how do I automate that? Now, I have built a little function here, and in a second I'm going to show you uh, where I found this or, or how I got to this information. But this is a standalone advanced function that allows me to recurse or walk through all of the registry values that exist in a GPO. Now, this one in particular is just using get GP registry value. So that's a Microsoft commandlet. It reads registry.poll files and it allows you to find information. Now let me show you something about this commandlet and how it functions, which is ultimately why we built this um, built this advanced function. So if I say get GP registry value and I point to a GPO, let's see, I think I have IE test one and I'll give it a key and I'm going to give it the HK local machine software. I'm going to give it a top level key essentially. So I'm going to query that GPO, go into registry.poll, find all of the settings under here. And what gets returned to me is the next step down the tree towards ultimately a setting. Right? So I'm only going to return information if there is going to be a leaf node at some point, some managed setting. All right, so let me follow this logically. HK local machine policies is the key path that was returned. Let me go to that key. Policies. Okay, HK local machine software policies Microsoft. Let me go there. And you can see that you can walk down this tree and progressively expose additional information. It's not an interactive experience, right? It's not something that's very helpful. We want our automation to be super helpful. All right, so let me go back, get back to that in just a second, but show you something that you may or may not be aware of. 
in the editor itself, if I look at a group policy object, I have this ability to, um, when I'm in administrative templates, excuse me, to apply filters. And my filters are going to be able to, this one is set up to just show me any setting under administrative templates that's configured. Now this won't include all registry.poll data, just admin template data, but still pretty helpful. So now I can actually narrow down. Don't forget about the filters in the editor. They're really helpful. That's the simplicity that we want to get to in PowerShell. So we wrote this recurse uh, policy keys function. And all it takes is the name of a GPO and the key. So whether you're doing H, you're doing local machine or current user, let me do local machine software. And this is going to go through and do all of that step-by-step -step work for you, walk down that tree and return that leaf node. So there's only one setting managed in the computer configuration of this GPO. It happens to be the ad policy search provider setting. And now I have the value, the value type, the full key path. And now I can work with that, right? So that's what this function does. The code for the function is in the blog post. Um, you know, you might have to know a little bit about working with functions and but it's, it's super easy and there's a ton of stuff there's a ton of information out there um, that you can utilize so i uh, where did i get this information now i had been working as you are probably aware darren morelia is the founder of stm software he's also a gpo guy his alter ego. Um, so Darren has built this ADMX to DSC script. He's a group policy MVP. The folks at Microsoft asked someone to do this. Darren jumped up and wrote this script that converts ADMX data to desired state configuration documents. Fantastic. Go up to his GitHub site, GitHub slash GPO guy, and you can check it out. Now I took that script that he wrote and I tried to make it more PowerShell-y. So I created an advanced function called convert to DSC. So it behaves more like a PowerShell function. Of course, Darren did all the hard work. Um, I just sort of made it more PowerShell-y. The reason I bring this up though is this function called recurse policy keys and recurse policy keys function is essentially what I took um, to create that standalone function, right? So he did all that hard work. Um, it's very logical if you really read through it, if, you, if you're into that kind of thing. Either way, go to GitHub, look at GPO guy, uh, look at Kev Sully. You may be willing to or interested in jumping on these things and contributing. There's some great potential in this. So, uh, Check it out if you get a chance. Sorry for that sidebar. So registry.poll viewer, free tool from SDM software. Go check it out. That will return registry keys. You can turn on your filters in the editor. You can run this function, recurse policy keys. Um, ultimately, you want to be able to do something with the information. And don't forget that there is a commandlet called remove GP registry value. And so you're going to be able to take the information that you get out of this function and through automation, you're going to be able to pipe that right into remove GP registry value. Um, and if you choose to do it that way, you're going to be able to get the info, find the conflicts uh, and ultimately resolve that issue. I didn't want to go all the way, but here's a great start. So um, enjoy. Hope this is helpful. Uh, like I said, I have said in the past, give us some feedback, let us know what you think, and we'd love to provide some more tidbits. Thanks, have a great day.